हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सॉल्ट ब्रिज व्हाट इज सॉल्ट ब्रिज इट इज अ लेबोरेटरी डिवाइस व्हिच इज यूज्ड टू कनेक्ट टू हाफ सेल्स ऑफ गैल्वेनिक सेल और वोल्टेइक सेल सो बेसिकली टू हाफ सेल्स विल बी प्रेजेंट इन द गैल्वेनिक सेल और वोल्टेइक सेल एंड दैट टू हाफ सेल्स विल बी कनेक्टेड विद अ डिवाइस एंड दैट डिवाइस इज नोन एज सॉल्ट ब्रिज so before studying the salt bridge first i will draw a block diagram of two half cells and that will be connected with a salt bridge so this is the block diagram of a galvanic or voltaic cell so here you can see one anode is there and one cathode is there anode anode is made up of zinc and the cathode is made up of copper so in anode half cell there is zinc sulfate solution but in cathode half cell there is copper sulfate solution so how reaction takes place in anode and in cathode first i am taking the example of anode so in anode first zn metal will be converted into zn2 plus and it will release two electron so here oxidation takes place because loss of electron is known as oxidation so here zn will lose two electron and that is why this reaction is known as oxidation so here these two electron will flow here and it will be go throughout and ultimately it will go to the cathode and uh, after going to the cathode this electro uh, these two electrons will be taken by copper so at cathode reaction will be cu2 plus plus two electron and uh, it will be converted into cu solid so here zinc is solid and the zn it is in aqueous and here cu2 plus is in aqueous solution so after this reaction here production of zn2 plus takes place zn2 plus takes place and here deposition of cu deposition of cu in the electrodes so in anode zn2 plus will be in excess that is why this electrode will contain maximum number of zn2 plus ion means positive ions or cations and here uh, cu2 plus is converted into cu metal and that will deposit into the uh, electrode copper rod and that is why here uh, negative ions will be in excess means so 4 2 minus ion will be excess because here in solution uh, cu2 plus ion is present and that is converted into cu and that cu will be deposited in the uh, cu rod or cathode so here ionic disbalance will occur and due to that ionic disbalance current flow will not occur so to neutralize that ionic disbalance we have to use salt bridge so here you can see that this is salt bridge present uh, between two cells and it will connect anode and cathode and in this salt bridge 
Initial salt is filled. Other salt may also be used, but here uh, I am taking the example of NaCl. And uh, in salt, which agar gel will be filled because agar gel will act as a gelling agent. And here, at both the end, cotton plug will be there. Okay. So, what is the role of this salt bridge? As I have already told that here Zn2 plus concentration is higher and here SO42 minus concentration is higher because here Zn SO4 will be converted into Zn2 plus plus SO42 minus and uh, from this Zn from this uh, anode extra amount of Zn2 plus is formed and uh, it will release two electron and that electron will go further and ultimately it will go to the uh, copper electrode and here CuSO4 will convert into Cu2 plus plus SO4 2 minus and that Cu2 plus will react with these electrons these uh, two electron and it will convert into copper metal and it will deposit in the electrode so ultimately here Zn2 plus concentration will be higher and here SO4 2 minus concentration will be higher so to neutralize this Zn2 plus here from salt bridge NaCl is there so chlorine ion, ion will come and this chlorine will maintain the ionic balance of anode in same way in cathode Na plus ion will come and this Na plus ion will uh, able to maintain the ionic balance of this cathode so this is the basic role of salt bridge and uh, here uh, shape of salt bridge is u-shaped it is inverse u-shaped now coming to the functions and applications of salt bridge. So first function of salt bridge is that it will complete the circuit because here if salt bridge will not be present so here circuit between two cells will not complete and ultimately current flow will not occur. Second function of salt bridge is to maintain the electrical neutrality. So here to maintain the electrical neutrality salt should have certain characteristics and those characteristics are salt should have inert means it will no, it should not react with either anode or with cathode or with solution. And if salt is reacting with anode cathode or with solution in that condition salt should not form any precipitate because if precipitate will form then it will sediment at the bottom and ultimately it will not be reversible. Now coming to the salts used for preparation of salt bridge. So relatively inert salts are used like uh, KCl, uh, like NaCl, KNO3, NH4, Cl. Okay. Now coming to the types of salt bridge. So generally two types of salt bridge are available. First one is U-shaped glass salt bridge and the second one is filter paper salt bridge. So uh, this is glass salt bridge. This is U-shaped glass salt bridge. So here this salt bridge is filled with salt as well as uh, it is filled with agar gel or any gelling agent. Now coming to the second one which is filter paper salt bridge. So filter paper salt bridge does not require any gelling agent because uh, filter paper is solid in nature. So filter paper will be soaked in the inert salt solution and uh, that will be used as a salt bridge. So this is the details about salt bridge. Thank you.